Breaking news, this may be the funniest story I've read all day. Right-wing conspiracy theorist Elon Musk backs down from $45 million a month pledge to Trump, says he doesn't, quote, subscribe to cult of personality. And that is rich coming from Elon Musk, who himself has fallen down the right-wing rabbit hole and developed a cult of personality over the past few years. The moment I knew that Elon Musk had truly lost his mind, I mean, there were a few, but when he shared this article saying that Paul Pelosi was being beaten by his gay lover when that is a straight conspiracy theory. Since then, Elon Musk has consistently boosted conspiracy theorists to his hundreds of millions of followers on X. He has even bought the platform so he can allow Russian disinformation to run rampant. So Elon Musk is no friend to liberalism, but today he did us a favor by backing down from his pledge. So let's lay all the groundwork as we usually do. Leave a like on this video if you can't stand Donald Trump and Elon Musk. So when talking about these two, we naturally Actually start from this tweet sent by Donald Trump where he just shoves Elon Musk's face in the dirt. He says, when Elon Musk came to the White House asking me for help on all of his many subsidized projects, whether it's electric cars that don't drive long enough, driverless cars that crash, or rocket ships to nowhere, without which subsidies he'd be worthless, and telling me how he was a big fan and Republican, I could have said, quote, drop to your knees and beg, and he would have done it. So this is total, complete disrespect coming from Donald Trump. And what does Elon Musk do? Does he stick up for himself? No. He drops to his knees and he begs. He actually says, I will give you $45 million a month. But it's sort of spying this because this is after Elon Musk said he was a centrist. He doesn't ascribe to any political ideology. He's center of the road. Let's break it down. So obviously Elon Musk is currently the world's richest person with an estimated fortune exceeding $250 billion. The amount that he has said he plans to commit to America pack, Trump's pack, is an extraordinary sum. While it can be difficult to trace the full scope of some political giving, the largest known donation of the 2024 election so far is $50 million given recently by the great-grandson of banker Thomas Mellon to a super PAC supporting Trump. Musk in March tweeted that he didn't intend to donate to either Trump or President Biden's campaigns. So despite Musk tweeting this out, just to be super clear, I am not donating money to either candidate for U.S. president, he still went ahead and made this pledge. The billionaire Tesla CEO has gotten closer to the former president in the recent months. On Saturday, Musk formally endorsed Trump for president after a shooter attempted to assassinate the former president at a Pennsylvania rally. Quote, I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery. In a subsequent post, he licked the boot and said, last time America had a candidate this tough was Theodore Roosevelt. The Wall Street Journal, Journal reported in May that Musk and Trump had been talking frequently in recent months and were developing a friendly rapport and that Musk was helping organize a data-driven project to prevent voter fraud that Trump was briefed on. The article said the two men had also discussed a possible advisory role for Musk in a potential second Trump admin, something Musk later denied, but I totally believe it. We have seen Donald Trump going around offering admin roles to people like RFK Jr. and just sucking up. Donald Trump has this weird skill where he can pander to whoever he's talking to per perfectly or pander to an entire room perfectly and know what they want to hear in that very moment. But to the real article of the day, Elon Musk backs down from $45 million a month pledge to Trump, says he doesn't, quote, subscribe to cult of personality. Elon Musk is not spending $45 million a month to elect former President Donald Trump, though he has created a new super PAC to fund the Republican candidate, the billionaire told conservative commentator Jordan Peterson during an interview Monday evening. During the interview, which was hosted on Musk's platform, X, Peterson asked Musk if he had, quote, shocked himself by donating a substantial amount of money to Trump's campaign. Musk, who has previously criticized Trump, calling him a bull in a china shop, paused to correct the media. Musk replied, I am not donating $45 million a month to Trump. Musk did note that he created a super PAC called the America PAC to help support Trump. A super PAC is a group that can raise unlimited amounts of money for a campaign's independent expenditures, such as for ads or for day-to-day -day operations, but doesn't donate directly to the campaign. They have become prominent among both Democrats and Republicans since a 2010 D.C. appeals court decision that authorized the existence of super PACs. Several tech company leaders have donated to the America PAC, including Ken Howery, an early executive of PayPal, along with Musk, Antonio Gracias, a private equity leader, Sequoia Capital's Sean McGuire, and the Winklevoss twins. I don't prescribe to a cult of personality, Musk said, but he added that Trump demonstrated, quote, great courage after being shot by an attempted assassin on July 13th and that 
that strength helps intimidate America's enemies. Additionally, Musk spoke about the core values that make America great, which he thinks the Republican Party embodies more so than the Democrats, but I totally disagree. Quote, one of those values being meritocracy, as much meritocracy as possible so you get ahead as a function of your skill and nothing else. An incredibly rich quote coming from Elon Musk, who has demonstrated time and time again that he doesn't really possess that much skill. I mean, maybe he has good intuition when it comes to building rockets, but as a businessman, as somebody who is trying to get involved in politics, he has no intuition whatsoever. And it's honestly scary that somebody like Elon Musk can hold so much power, even if he did want to donate $45 million a month. The fact that he could not only own X, the largest social media platform in the world, also donate $45 million a month and have that much pull in a campaign, and then also say that he is being targeted and that he is anti-establishment is just sickening when Elon Musk is somebody who allows Russian disinformation to be spread all over X. He is somebody who actively pushes Russian disinformation himself by saying that Ukraine should cede land, that a peace deal in Russia's favor is something that we should do. Musk is nothing but a pawn for the Republican Party. I can't tell if he's actually bought into some of his own propaganda on his platform or if this is all one big ruse to give people tax breaks. Also, the idea that Donald Trump helps intimidate America's enemies, like Elon Musk claims, is absolutely not true. It's actually the opposite. Our enemies would be more likely to take advantage of Donald Trump. Imagine Vladimir Putin becoming buddy-buddy with Trump and getting him to negotiate a deal that helps Putin disproportionately. That is exactly what would happen. Also, Donald Trump has been laughed at at a UN summit by our allies. He also added that one of the principles the pack aligned with was, quote, freedom, particularly freedom from, quote, as much government intervention as possible. That is incredibly funny because Project 2025 has this maximalist version of unitary executive theory that wants to grant the executive branch more power than the government start to overreach and strip health care away, strip health care away from trans people, from women, all sorts of Americans. I mean, Project 2025 is by definition of government overreach and strips away our freedoms. The hand of government gets heavier every year, and if you don't roll back some restrictions and regulations, eventually, quote, everything will be illegal, Musk said. When Peterson pressed Musk for why he was switching to Trump after long voting Democratic, Musk said that Democrats had become the party of censorship. That is absolutely hilarious. We can point to a hundred different examples of Republicans censoring Democrats. Remember when Donald Trump tried to get Colin Kaepernick fired because Colin Kaepernick took a knee and wouldn't stand during the American anthem? But Democrats are the ones that want to censor people. Like right now, Libs of TikTok is trying to get any Democrat fired who said anything slightly negative about the man who died at the Trump rally, which was tragic. But any Democrat who made a joke on TikTok got fired from their job because they got doxxed, they got exposed, they got canceled from right wingers. So give me a break, Elon Musk. The fact that Donald Trump can just absolutely disrespect Elon Musk and Elon Musk remains spineless. I mean, just look how awkward this photo is. So incredibly awkward. Two men who have massive egos and aren't as smart as they think they are and who are in positions of power that they shouldn't be in. Leave a like on the video if you agree. Make sure you comment a blue heart. Hit that subscribe button. Most importantly, have a great day yourself.